Hi everyone, I welcome you all for this Nursing Wisdom channel. Today we are going to see about OBG MCQ for Nursing Competitive Exam. First question, duration of pregnancy is option A 10 lunar months, option B 9 calendar months and 7 days, option C 280 days, option D all the above. Duration of pregnancy in days 280 days. In weeks 40 weeks, in months 9 calendar months and 7 days, in lunar months 10 lunar months because lunar months contain 28 days in each month. So here the answer is option D all the above. Next question, dusky hue of the vestibule and discoloration of anterior vaginal wall occur during pregnancy is known as option A Jacumi sign, option B Osiander sign, option C, Goodall sign, option D, Piscosex sign. Jacumius sign, it is otherwise called as Chadwick sign. It is the dusky hue of the vestibule and anterior vaginal wall, visible at about 8th week of pregnancy. This discoloration is due to local vascular congestion. Osiander sign, there is increased pulsation felt through the lateral fornices at 8th week called OC under sign. Goodall sign, softening of the cervix is called Goodall sign. Piscosex sign, asymmetrical enlargement of the uterus is called Piscosex sign. So here the answer is option A, Jacumius sign. Next question, perception of active fetal movement by the mother is Option A quickening, Option B Hagar sign, Option C Palmer sign, Option D Colasma. Quickening, it is defined as the first movement of the fetus felt in utero. It is occur from the 80th to 20th week of pregnancy. Hagar sign, it is the softening of the isthmus of the uterus, the area between the cervix and body of the uterus which occur at 6 to 8 weeks of pregnancy. Palmer sign, regular and rhythmic uterine contraction can be elicited during bimanual examination as early as 4 to 8 weeks. Colesma, it is otherwise called as mosque of pregnancy. It is a common skin condition during pregnancy. It usually presents as dark brownish patches of skin mostly on the forehead, nose, upper lip and cheeks. So here the answer is option A quickening. Next question, the height of the uterus is at the level of umbilicus at dash period of gestation. Option A 16 weeks, option B 24 weeks, option C 28 weeks, option D 32 weeks. At the 12th week, just palpable above the symbasis pubis. At the 16th week, at the lower one third of the distance between the symbasis pubis and umbilicus. At the 20th week, at the two third of the distance between the symbasis pubis and umbilicus. At the 24th week, at the level of the umbilicus. At the 28th week, at the lower one third of the distance between the umbilicus and sternum. At the 32nd week, at two third of the distance between the umbilicus and sternum. At the 36th week, at the level of the sternum. At the 14th week, sinks back to the level of the 32nd week, but the planks are full, unlike that in the 32nd week. So here the answer is option B, 24th weeks. Next question, fetal heart sound can be first ascultated with an ordinary stethoscope at dash period of gestation. Option A, 12 to 18 weeks. Option B, 18 to 20 weeks. Option C, 20 to 24 weeks. Option D, 24 to 28 weeks. With an ordinary stethoscope, Fetal heart sound can be first ascultated by 18 to 20 weeks of pregnancy. So here the answer is option B 18 to 20 weeks. Next question, pseudocyasis is option A 
फॉल्स बिलीव ऑफ ए वुमन दैट सी इज प्रेग्नेंट ऑप्शन बी अबनॉर्मल एनलॉर्जमेंट ऑफ यूट्रस ऑप्शन सी फॉल्स डायग्नोसिस दैट ए पर्सन इज प्रेग्नेंट ऑप्शन डी ऑल द एबो फॉल्स बिलीव ऑफ ए वुमन दैट सी इज प्रेग्नेंट इज नोन एज स्यूडोसाइसिस सो हियर द आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए फॉल्स बिलीव ऑफ ए वुमन दैट सी इज प्रेग्नेंट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन identify the signs which indicating a previous child birth option a presence of silvery white stria and linear alba option b abdominal wall is lax option c perineum is lax and evidence of old scarring indicating previous child birth option d all the above signs of previous child birth breast become more flabby presence of silvery white stria and linear alba abdominal wall is more lax and loose uterine wall is less rigid and the contour of the uterus is broad and round rather than ovoid perineum is lax and evidence of old scarring from previous perineal laceration or episiotomy introitus is gaping vagina is more roomy so here the answer is option d all the above Next question identify the formula which is used for the estimation of fetal weight option A Johnson's formula option B Shepard's formula option C Hadlock's formula option D all the above Johnson's formula Shepard's formula Hadlock's formula these are all the above formula used to estimate the fetal weight so here the answer is option d all the above next question relationship of the long axis of the fetus to the long axis of the centralized uterus or maternal spine is known as option a lie option b attitude option c denominator option d position lie the lie refers to the relationship of the long axis of the fetus to the long axis of the centralized uterus or maternal spine attitude the relation of the different parts of the fetus to one another is called attitude of the fetus denominator it is an arbitrary bony fixed point on the presenting part which comes in relation with the various quadrant of the maternal pelvis position it is the relation of the denominator to the different quadrants of the pelvis so here the answer is option a lie next question the commonest presenting part in cephalic presentation is option a vertex option b foot option c buttocks option d face in cephalic presentation the presenting part may be vertex bro or face depending upon the degree of flexion of the head but the commonest presenting part is vertex so here the answer is option a vertex i hope you got understand thanks for watching